Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is going to be my thoughts on VGO. One thing you may have noticed recently is that VGO has been in the news. There's been lots of videos made on it, it's been on Reddit, it's been advertised all over the place. There's been lots of opinions given. Some are positive, some not so much. And in that vein, it is now time for my thoughts. Now, videos about VGO generally tend to take on one of two forms. Either someone lays out the facts, talks about the pros and cons, and gives a reasoned opinion, or they enthusiastically talk about how great VGO is because they're sponsored by a VGO gambling site. The thing is though, I like to be different. I don't conform. It, it's got its downsides. For instance, no woman will come within 20 meters of me. That sucks. But still, I'm a proud non-conformist and I'm going to be taking my own approach to VGO. I don't want to be bogged down talking about whether it's good or not. I don't really care one way or another. Instead, I want to be focusing on where it's going. And in particular, why we should all be sitting back with popcorn and waiting for the fireworks to go off. Because I think this thing is going to end one way and only one way, a massive and very special dumpster fire and I am going to be watching with enthusiasm as the fallout rains down from the sky. But just what is VGO? Well, if you were to read its document, say its manifesto, you would find that it's an attempt by a corporation that rails against corporate monopolies to create its own corporate monopoly over skins. But don't worry, apparently it's all about the community, so we're safe. There is one small problem though, you see despite all this talk about building this you know, great system built around VGO, it's all a pipe dream, it doesn't actually exist, there aren't any games at the moment that you can use VGO items in, so we can throw this entire manifesto in the bin. So what is VGO really? Well, for the time being, the role of VGO is to act as a new cryptocurrency so that the cottage industry of gambling sites that have sprung up around CSGO skins can keep the gravy train rolling. It's filling the void that Valve left when they booted all these people out of the CSGO skins ecosystem and this is where the problems kind of stem from. Because maybe VGO will realise its goal of creating an integrated system of skins spanning multiple games. To be honest, I think it's actually quite a good idea, but we're quite some way off from it at this point and, well, I'd just like to quickly run through the TDM Jesus short list of preconditions for a massive dumpster fire. First of all, is anyone trying to cover up their ownership? Which is a good question because we don't really know who owns VGO, and look at their Twitter account, there's nothing here, we, we don't really have an indication of who set it up. So is there anyone who can, you know, fill, fill the gaps for me? Anyone potentially, you know, sponsored by VGO who can clear things up for me? OP Skins, I guess, owns uh, their own trading site. They made their own skins. Thanks, Dingle Derpa. you're the best. So as we can see, OP Skins isn't being entirely upfront about their ownership stake in VGO, so we can check this one off the list. Secondly, are legally dubious gambling sites involved? Well, that's a bit like asking, is the Pope Catholic? I think we can just check this one off as well. Thirdly, is this stuff potentially violating Valve's legal rights? Well, you know, these weapons, it, it sort of looks like I've seen them before, I, I'm, I'm just, oh. Okay, so it looks like there might be a slight copyright violation going on here, so I'm going to say check. Finally, is Phantom Lord involved? But would you look at that? Yes, he is. Phantom Lord getting involved in gambling. Who would have thought? And with that, I think we have bingo. There is one small problem with this though, because I've suggested that VGO isn't just going to be a dumpster fire, but that it's going to be a special dumpster fire. And this checklist is an issue because there's something else that we could describe as a dumpster fire that already kind of fits the narrative. Do you remember the drawn out drama over the last few years involving gambling sites using CSGO skins as currency? Did we have people lying about ownership? Yes, yes we did. Did we have gambling sites doing legally dubious things? Yes we did as well. Was this stuff violating Valve's legal rights? Yes, it completely violated terms of service. And finally, was Phantom Lord involved? Well, yes. Yes he was. So this leaves me really having to explain myself. What's so special about VGO? Why is there anything disastrous about it that we haven't seen before? As it happens though, I think there's a few reasons why this is going to result in a very special type of carnage. First of all, sure, gambling sites have lied about who was owning them in the past. This time though, it's the owner of the entire currency system being dishonest about things. OP Skins, at least partly, owns VGO and they certainly have a lot of control over it. They set the price floors with their instant sell features, they provide the trading services, yet if you look at VGO's Twitter and their website, there's no acknowledgement of their ownership stake. In fact, there's no mention of any of the owners. Now, I pose the question to the viewer, 
why would Opie Skins and anyone else with an ownership stake in this company want to hide it? Why would you want plausible deniability over your role in creating VGO? Could it be that something really shady is going on and you want a way to distance yourself from it in case it goes catastrophically wrong? Who knows, but it's certainly a level up from simply a gambling site owner lying about things. It is as if Valve was lying about creating CSGO skins. And speaking of suspicious things, who else has noticed how much VGO likes to tell us how they're all about the community? Their manifesto is full of this stuff. Their website is full of this stuff. They constantly talk about it. Now, I don't know how many people are familiar with Warhammer 40,000, but if you were to look up its kind of cheesy lore, you'll find that the first legion to betray the Emperor was the Word Bearers who, by coincidence, just happened to be the legion that screamed the loudest about how loyal they were. And this is kind of the vibe I get from VGO. If VGO really is putting the community first, why do they feel the need to constantly and incessantly say it again and again and again? It, it just doesn't seem right to me. Or, as Shrek might put it, Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? And there's one other intrinsic problem I can see with VGO skins. You can't use them in game. You can't flaunt your wealth and all your cool skins to other players. They don't have that tangible component to them that a normal skin has. But VGO says they're going to have a workaround. They're going to have a program that overlays their skin on your gun in Counter-Strike so you can get some use out of it. Something that changes your skins. Now, I feel like I've heard of this before. What What's it called? So it changes your skins. It, Skins change? Skin change? No, skin changer. That's what it's called, a skin changer. So yeah, that thing that gets people vac banned. VGO wants to bring in one of those. What could possibly go wrong? How could this blow up in VGO's face? I don't know, you tell me. But you know what? It might not ever even come to that because VGO have deleted every single reference they've ever made to it. It's almost like they realize it's a bloody retarded idea. So I guess you'll never get to use these skins in Counter-Strike after all. But at least it's not like VGO is built on a house of cards that could collapse in a flaming pile of rubble on short notice. Actually, hold on. Let, let me think about this for a moment. So CSGO skins have value because you can use them in game and that generates demand. Their value didn't come from the use as a currency on gambling websites. All of these websites are gone now but the market for skins remains. So let's compare that to VGO because VGO skins have no value as in-game items at the moment and it's not clear if they ever will. Their value at the moment isn't being set by market forces of supply and demand. Instead, it's being set by a price floor implemented by OP skins. They will pay you a minimum amount for any given skin, so there's no reason to list a skin for less than the amount that OP skins are willing to pay you for it. And this is a problem because what happens if OP Skins stops paying people for VGO items? What happens if they pull their support? What's the intrinsic market value of VGO items subject to normal forces of supply and demand? It's hard to know for certain, but I have a hunch that it may not be quite as high as they're selling for right now. I don't think the natural demand is quite there yet. And if OP Skins was to withdraw their support at some point, the results could be fairly interesting because this is a bubble, and if it pops, well, I think we might just be in for some flaming rubble. It really strikes me as being built to fall, and taking all of this, I think VGO just has some really special qualities that lend for spectacular disasters. I think it could be that really special dumpster fire that's never been seen before. But anyway, what I want to be clear about in this video to all my viewers is that this isn't anything you need to worry about, as long as you're not buying into VGO, because all this is now happening in isolation from the CSGO skins ecosystem. During past gambling scandals, we'd watch on hoping that Valve wasn't going to pull the plug on the whole skins economy in response. This time, no matter what happens, it's not going to be a problem for us. We can just sit back on the sofa with some popcorn and watch the dumpster burn. And I think the flames are going to be shooting pretty bloody high. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, or abuse me in the comments. It's, it's up to you. Maybe some people are going to want to do that. But otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Zeus. Thanks for watching. See ya.